Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this video, I will be making some chrome and holo nails and you guys have requested this video for so long and finally it's here. So actually I was contacted by a company called banggood.com and they sent me these holo powder and chrome powder to try out. So I thought you guys have requested this and they want me to do this video. So why not? make this video <laughs> so they sent me a bunch of different chrome powders i have swatched them on top of black nails um, so these are the chrome powders and this is the holo powder they're all swatched on black nails like i said and in this video i will be using this chrome powder and this holo powder and they are beautiful i really love these two these are my favorite they are so beautiful so yeah these are the powders that they sent me and they did come along with these polishes now i didn't know what it was i was guessing it would be like a base coat and a top coat but it doesn't say base coat or top coat anywhere um they do have stickers but i don't know what that means so I will not use these polishes in this video. They also came a little bit dirty in the mail, so yeah, not impressed. <laughs> so I will use this base coat from Madame Glam. They're Soak Off No Wipe Top Gel. You need a no wipe top gel, by the way, to use the chrome powder. Um, and then I will be using this Madame Glam gel polish in OMG pink. You guys know I love this color. Like, I'm wearing this all the time. <laughs> so yeah, and here are the powders, by the way. I taped the applicators on top so I wouldn't lose them. So yeah, those are the powders, the random polishes they sent me for some reason. <laughs> so yeah. I do want to mention like a disclaimer. I wasn't really satisfied with the outcome of the chrome nails because as you can see the chrome powder has like chipped from my nails. I have only worn these nails for like a week and you can literally just, yeah, as you can see it's not very pretty. <laughs> But the holo nails are amazing, they last really well. I will be making another video very soon showing you guys another technique that you can use to make chrome nails. But for now I'm just going to show you this way because this is the way that most people do their chrome nails. And yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that I don't like this particular way of doing chrome nails just because of this. <laughs> So yeah, but if you want to see how I did these nails, then just keep watching. The first thing you want to do is obviously to prep your nails and cleanse them. I'm using the Ended Ultra Bond Primer to prime my nails. And yeah, as you can see, I have a little bit of gel on top of my natural nails, but it's just a really tiny bit of gel, so I will still use a soak off base coat to my nails. And like I say in every video, base coat is super important if you want long lasting nails. Then I'm just brushing on the Madame Glam OMG Pink Gel Polish and this is by far my favorite gel polish in the entire world. It's so beautiful and so pink, like it's insanely pink and I just love this pink color. As you can see it's really pigmented already but I will apply two layers just because I want it to be fully opaque. So here I'm applying the second coat. Now for the second coat you want to cure this hand for 
just 5 seconds in the LED lamp because we're gonna apply the holo powder on top of this pink gel polish so you don't want it to be fully cured because then the holo powder is not gonna be able to stick to the gel polish if that makes sense so cure this for about 5 seconds in the LED lamp or 10 seconds in a UV lamp I'm not sure um, so here is the holo powder that I will be using. I love this powder. It's very pretty. I'm just taking my makeup applicator and I'm just pressing it on. And it is very different from the chrome powder because you can definitely feel the pieces in this one. Whether the chrome powder is really like a powder. This is more like a glitter. It's still very pretty though. So yeah. This powder does have a silvery finish. I wish it would have been a little bit more see-through so you could tell like the color underneath. I mean it's still beautiful but with smaller pieces, you know, smaller glitter pieces or whatever, I think it would be so much better. But yeah, it's still amazing. I love this powder. Before moving on to the other nails, I'm just gonna dust off the excess with a fan brush. Like I said in the beginning, you will need a no-wipe top gel for the chrome nails. So I'm gonna apply the no-wipe top gel on my other pink nails. And you want this layer to be really nice and even so that the chrome looks really um, as perfect as possible because the chrome powder does reflect the surface really well so if you have a little bump or a little bubble it's gonna be noticeable so you want this layer to be really nice and even I will do the same thing as I did with the holo powder. I'm just gonna pick up some of this beautiful chrome powder and I'm gonna rub it on my nails. Now this time I had cured the top coat for 30 seconds so it has to be fully cured before rubbing this chrome powder in. This is so beautiful. I love this chrome powder. I mean it's beautiful. You can definitely tell that there's a pink color underneath. Um, so it is amazing, it's pretty, it's so easy to use and yeah, it's just amazing. It does get a little bit messy when you work with chrome powders, but try to just clean up once now and then and you're gonna be fine. And as always, I'm just brushing the excess chrome powder off to make it a little bit more clean before we top coat it.
Now on to the top coat, I will be using the same top coat as with the chrome nails and I'm applying this on top of all of my nails. Now I'm just cleansing my cuticles and side walls to remove the excess chrome powder and this works really well even though it got really messy by cleansing it it really removed a whole lot of powder. Last but not least I'm gonna apply this cuticle oil from Ended. This is the pineapple cuticle oil and it smells heavenly. I love the smell of this and I love the fact that it's pink. It's amazing. So I'm just going to massage this into my cuticles and then we're done. I hope you guys like this video. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask. And thank you so much Banggood.com for sending me these powders. They are amazing. I really like them. I will show you guys another way to use this chrome powder because I'm not really happy with the result. Even though it looks beautiful, it didn't last very well. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. So yeah, I hope you like this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!